Looking for a car that's just a little different? Well, today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to create a drop-down gatefold card. This one is a portrait, and this one is going to go landscape. I'm gonna be teaching you both cards today. I've got lots of tips and tricks for creating these fantastic cards. Hello everyone, I'm Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so glad you guys are joining me today. It's time for another Tuesday tip video. Let's get to creating that fantastic drop down double gatefold. We're gonna start with the portrait card. I love this one. I love gold and blackberry bliss. And I'm gonna be using two stamp sets today. I'm gonna to use the berry harvest background stamp and then my sentiments are gonna come from the perennial postage. You're going to love that this card uses minimal supplies. We love that, right? Hey, before I give you all those measurements, I do want you to know that there is a free download that goes along with today's video. So when you're ready to recreate the card, you're gonna love having this because you'll have the measurements, you'll have photos. Here you can come back and check, uh, you can click or scan the QR code to come back and watch the video again. And my complete supply list here, if you'd like to order. Friends, I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Click right there, order what you need. All right, let's talk about what we need for the card. I've got an eight and a half by 11 of Blackberry Bliss, and then I also have a strip that is one and a quarter by nine. Two pieces of Very Vanilla, four by five and a quarter. That's gonna be for the inside of the card. This is a two by three. It is just some scrap that we're gonna use for creating the circle sentiment on the front. I'm also gonna bring in some gold foil, and this is just a piece that I have punched out with my two and three eighths inch circle punch. You could also use your circle dies, whichever you have. And lastly, you're gonna need a piece of copy paper. This could also be junk mail, anything you've got. I think this is cut about, oh, I don't know, two and a half by 11 inches. It's going to act as a, act as a barrier as we do our stamping all around our gatefold. All right, let's jump into how to create the gatefold itself. I'm gonna put the eight and a half inches of my cardstock up here at the top, and I want to score that at two and an eighth inch, all right? So that's in between two and two and a quarter. We'll score that. I'm gonna rotate it around with the eight and a half at the top. Let's score the opposite side again at two and an eighth inch. Now we're gonna put the 11 inches at the top, and we will score at five and a half. All right, now comes the cutting. And guys, I promise this is actually very easy. So remember we scored at two and an eighth. I want you to scoot your cardstock over one more little notch. So this is in between um, two and an eighth and two and a quarter. This is what's going to allow that gate to be able to come down. We're not gonna be fighting with it. Now, when you cut, you're gonna cut down to that five and a half inch score line. So I'm gonna bring my cutter down and I can see my score line right there. I'm gonna lift my blade, lift my arm. There is cut number one. Let's rotate this around. Remember, we're gonna find two and an eighth and we're gonna move over one little notch. And we're going to repeat that cut again down to our five and a half. So we have this. All right, I'm gonna rotate. We're gonna put 11 inches up at the top. Let's set that back over here at five and a half. And now we are going to cut these. And I just kind of cut until I feel it loosen and that means I can stop cutting. Um, I'm gonna lift this arm, let me slide my blade down and I will repeat that right here. You notice I'm just kind of wiggling it until I feel it give way, there we go. We wanna save these pieces. These are the two pieces that we're gonna use to accent the front of our card. This is a no waste card. Let's go ahead and bring in our bone folder and we're gonna go ahead and give all those score lines a good crease. This is the part where I'm excited to show you how easy the gate fold fits in. Yeah, we're not fighting it because we cut off just that little bit on the edges. So that's why I had you cut that little bit extra off. All right, we're gonna do some stamping on this and we're gonna use that 
berry harvest um, background stamp. So this is actually going to make it very easy to do too. You are definitely going to want some grid paper underneath you because we'll be getting ink a little bit everywhere. I'm gonna take a Berry Bliss ink pad. I'm going to ink up my stamp. Now I will tell you with these background stamps, this is the way I prefer to try to ink them up versus trying to tap this all over an ink pad, it's much easier. And it allows me to see to make sure I have good coverage. This is where that copy paper or junk mail is gonna come in handy. I'm going to place that right along that score line. All right, just right there on that score line because I don't wanna get ink here. All right, let's bring in our stamp and we'll lay that right there. This one, you're gonna to wanna to give it some good pressure because it is a big stamp. Just make sure you get all the edges. And look at that, we get this gorgeous blackberry all over. I think it's fabulous, but see what our little stopper did? Let's flip this over. We're gonna repeat that on the other side. Okay, with that, you see both sides of our gate are done. Now, this is going to be the inside, all right, the inside of our card. We're gonna repeat that same thing here on the sides. So this time we're gonna put our copy paper here on the um, right side of this panel and the left side of this panel. We're gonna go ahead and stamp that the exact same way we did here. All right, so we have got everything there stamped. Quick. I'm gonna bring in my piece of very vanilla. Remember this one is the portrait card. And since I have this all inky, I'm gonna just get one corner here. So one of these blackberries, and I'm gonna stamp it down here on the corner of my very vanilla cardstock. Let's take a moment. We're gonna clean this stamp because we're gonna be using it again, only in Versamark. So I wanna make sure I've got all of that Blackberry Bliss ink off. You can even take it and give it a couple taps, make sure we're good and clean. While we have our ink out and we're doing all of our stamping, we're gonna go ahead and finish with um, the inside of our card. And we're going to say, thank you for your friendship. And then on that two by three, we will stamp, you mean the world to me. And let's bring in one more ink pad. How about a little old olive? We're gonna do some blending brush work today. So I've got my blending brush for my old olive. I'm gonna ink it up. I wanna get some of that off of there because I want this to be very, very light. So I'm just going to blend my old olive ink right there on my leaves. I think I'll get them just a little, little bit darker. I always say, you can always add more, but you can't take it away. So I always like to err on the side of light ink before I add more. Now we're gonna bring in a blending brush for our Berry Bliss. And this is another one, it's dark. So you wanna make sure you're using a very light touch, all right? It really is so pretty. And you know, if you wanted to, you could come in and add just a nice soft look to your sentiment. You could do that here on the You Mean the World to Me. Just a little bit goes a long way. We're going to adhere the area that we're gonna write our message to the inside of our card. And you know, I had this piece here, we're gonna do a little punching. Remember my gold foil circle was a two and three eighths. Well, I'm gonna bring in the two inch circle punch and I'm going to give myself a little punch for my sentiment, and then we'll add that right in the middle. Okay, I have all the major work done here, so let's set all this off to the side. Now let's talk about those two leftover pieces. What are we going to do with these? We're going to do some heat embossing. I love to go ahead and rub down my cardstock with an embossing buddy. I know it looks a little messy, but don't worry, all that's going to buff off, but that's gonna make sure that my cardstock is free from any oils that might be on my hands, hand lotion, things like that. It's gonna give us a really nice crisp um, embossed image. So we're gonna bring in, we're gonna bring in that stamp again, and this time we're gonna use a Versamark pad. So this is a clear ink pad. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up well. I'm gonna take those two pieces of cardstock. I'm just gonna lay them right next to each other. And I'm gonna stamp this at one time. 
Now, I do need you to know we are going to be trimming it down. So if you miss a little edge or something, don't worry. We are going to be able to cut anything that we might miss. We'll be able to get that off of there. All right, so let me lift this. I'm going to bring my first one in and I'm going to use my reverse tweezers here and bring in my oh so fancy embossing powder tray. <laughs> you know, when you're a crafter, you use what you've got, right? Okay, I'm going to sprinkle this with my embossing powder and this gold is absolutely just going to pop right off of this Blackberry Bliss. Make sure you have everything well coated. Tap off the excess. I'm going to bring in my heat tool and I'm going to let it heat up for about 20 seconds before I start to heat set my embossing powder. All right, we're going to start melting this embossing powder. This is one of my favorite techniques, always has been. It's absolutely magical. I've got my heat tool probably about four inches or so away from the cardstock and you see the magic starting to happen there. I never get tired of watching embossing powder melt and just look at that gold. Ooh, that gold on that Blackberry Bliss. It is gorgeous. Keep going until everything is all melted. We're gonna get this amazing look. So now that this one's done, I'm now ready to work on my other piece. You're going to wanna let those cool. And then I just keep a little microfiber cloth. You could use a tissue or a paper towel. We're gonna buff away any of the uh, embossing buddy. So it's gonna just shine and look so pretty. Now I told you we're gonna trim these down. And what you're going to notice, you're gonna see your score line on one end. Remember we cut it just a little bit beyond the score line. So when we trim this down, we wanna make sure that's what we cut off. And we're gonna cut this down to 7 eighths of an inch. So that's what's going to cut off my score line, seven eighths of an inch. Now pick an end. I can see I've got a little bit where maybe I didn't quite get the stamp down there. That's the other end I'm gonna cut to five and a quarter. Let's repeat that. So one and seven eighths and five and a quarter. All right, let's go ahead and close up our card. We're going to add these to the front. Remember this would be the side that's not stamped and it's looking great right okay now we're going to create just a really simple belly band to kind of hold this card closed this is where that one and a quarter by nine inch card stock is going to come in handy i'm going to lay my card right here in the in the middle i'm just going to use my bone folder and i'm going to create just a little score line right there i'm going to slide this down just a hair or two and then i'm going to repeat that here on the other side why scooch it down? Well, I need this to be loose. And if I just scored right next to each other, I just, it would, it would be too tight. So that kind of gives me a little bit of space right there. We like that. And now we're going to take that fabulous sentiment. I'm just going to put some adhesive right here. No one will see that. We'll add our focal image. See, our belly band slides really nice. Now, the last thing this needed was some ribbon. I've got the gold and vanilla satin ribbon. Of course, how could I not go with gold and vanilla with all this beautiful gold going on? I'm just gonna tie this in a bow here onto the belly band. So just slide it under and then we can tie our bow, shrink it down, make it a little more manageable. And there we go. That is my drop down portrait card. Very, very easy. And now I'm excited to teach you how to create the same card only in landscape mode. Just a reminder to be sure to grab your free download that goes along with today's video. So when you're ready to recreate that double drop down gatefold, you'll have all the measurements and everything you need right here. Guys, you can find this free download at simplysimplestamping.com or just look down in the YouTube description for a direct link. And just like our first card, we don't need a lot. I have a piece of soft sea foam, eight and a half by 11. 
I have two pieces of Lost Lagoon. I've got a three by three, and then this is a one and a quarter by 11. Again, that will be for our belly band. Two pieces of Very Vanilla. This is going to be for the inside of the card. That is a four by five and a quarter. This piece is a three and a half by five and a half. We're gonna do some stamping and die cutting with that. First things first, I need to tell you that our cutting and our scoring are a little bit different on this card than on our first one. So this time our scoring, we're gonna put the eight and a half inches up at the top and we will score it in half at four and a quarter. Now we're gonna rotate it. We'll put the 11 inches up at the top and let's come over to two and three quarters. We're gonna score it two and three quarters, rotate your cardstock around and we're going to score again. All right, now we're gonna do that cutting. So you remember we just cut at that two and three quarters. Now let's move over one little line, just, just a little bit over there. And this time we're gonna bring the blade down to the score line going here. So that would be at four and a quarter. All right, cut one. Let's turn our cardstock over. Remember we're gonna go two and three quarters and just a hair, and then we will cut again. Okay. Once again, eight and a half up at the top, setting that at four and a quarter. That's going to allow us to cut. And as soon as you feel it cut and give way, there we go. Now I'll do the uh, bottom end here and we've got our two pieces and now our landscape gatefold. All right, so for these pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them um, on my paper trimmer now because I need to trim them down. So I can see there's my score line and I wanna cut that off. So instead of two and three quarters, we're gonna cut that down to two and a half by four. And so you remember on my previous card, I did heat embossing. Well, for this one, we're gonna do some dry embossing. There's that score line cut that down to two and a half inches and four. All right, and friends, you can use your favorite embossing folder. I'm going to use, this is the Countryside Blossoms, and I'm just gonna center up that cardstock right there in my folder. I'm gonna run that through my die cutting and embossing machine. You're gonna to wanna to do that to both pieces. All right, I have those embossed, but I don't wanna add them to my card just yet because we're gonna do stamping just like we did on our other card. We're gonna do some stamping. Let's go ahead and let's crease all of our score lines. Of course, you can see my gate full. There's plenty of room for that to close. Let's bring in our fabulous copy paper or junk mail. And just like before, I'm gonna stamp on both sides of the drop-down gatefold. And this card's going to feature the Thoughtful Expression stamp set. So I'm gonna use this great big fat flower. It was just perfect for this. And I'll stamp that in soft sea foam. And friends, this is gonna go so fast. You're gonna love this. So here's our big flower. I always like to just kind of give my card a little fold, make sure I'm right there up at the top of that score line. And now I can just randomly stamp my flowers just like that. Remember, we flip it over. Let's do that again. All right, we have those. Remember how we did before where we stamped the sides? Yep, we're gonna do that again. So bring in our copy paper and we'll add some of those flowers. And of course, there on the other side. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and bring in the inside of my card because I want to do a little more stamping with this same flower. So what I'm gonna do, I am just going to use this flower here and I just wanna get it here at the bottom corners of my Very Vanilla cardstock. Now I'm gonna bring in a Lost Lagoon ink pad because we're gonna accent this color with a little Lost Lagoon. The inside of my card will say, you're in my thoughts today. So I'm ready to adhere that inside my card and I'm gonna bring up my gatefold, close it up. Now I can add my embossed soft sea foam to the front. Don't you love it when you open it and you get to see all that stamping? Okay, well, we have just one little bit of stamping and die cutting to do, and that is to create this focal image. All right, so here we go. I have cleaned that stamp because I'm going to now take it in Lost Lagoon. And when you stamp this on your cardstock, 
go ahead and keep it all the way over to one side because we're going to use this to do some die cutting. The dies I'm using are the Thoughtful Expressions, and that does come as a bundle. So you can get the stamp set and the dies. You can get them as a bundle, or you can buy them separately, but you do save 10% when you go with the bundle. And for this one, we have got a die that's going to die cut our flowers, and we're going to use these for an accent. And I'm going to take the second to the largest and the third to the largest. So we'll die cut our flower. We're going to die cut our larger. This would be the second to the largest. And then here in that three by three Lost Lagoon, we'll get the next one. Let me get all this die cut for you and then we can put our belly band together. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment here on the Lost Lagoon. Before you stamp it, make sure you kind of see your pattern uh, because these dies do have a nice little wave, but we want them when they layer on top of each other, we want them to be straight. So I'm kind of using a rounded edge and I want that straight up. So I'm gonna come in with my sentiment and I'm gonna stamp that kind of down at the bottom, but all the way over to the right. That's important because our flower is gonna come right here. We're ready to fold up our gatefold. I'm going to lay it again, just like we did before. We're just going to lay our cardstock strip. This would be the one and a quarter by 11. Draw yourself a score line right next to the edge. And then you're going to just scooch it down and give yourself another score line. And that will ensure that we get a nice loose um, belly band. Yep. There's a little spot in the middle. I'm aware of that, and that's not going to be a problem. Remember what I told you about making sure your die was straight and you know what you're going to put up at the top? So I have added some a strip of adhesive right down the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my card. Let me move those belly bands out of the way. There's my adhesive. Center that up in my card. And are you ready? Boom, that's what we're gonna do. I'm now going to put adhesive on my stamped sentiment. So we'll cover that. And now we can add our flowers. You can just kind of decide where you want them to go. Looks like about right there. And then just like on my other card, I just added a little bit of the gold and vanilla ribbon. And my friends, that's how to create a drop down gatefold card. I'm telling you, the possibilities are endless with this. So you can do heat embossing, you could do dry embossing, you could stamp all over it. You create in the way that you love, but friends, you're gonna be so glad you gave these cards a try. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, if you like the video, would you give me a thumbs up on YouTube? I do appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, click that red subscribe button so YouTube can let you know whenever I'm back with another video. That is all for me today. Thank you so much for being here. Can't wait to stamp with you next time. Bye-bye.